Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking, five. What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Well, right now, I'm playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I need you guys to like the video and leave a comment. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. I want to talk about the LMGs. Like, I was using this on my stream. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. I might post this shit tonight, which is the 23rd. Or I might Hunter. Or I might post it tomorrow. But I streamed on the 23rd and a lot of you guys might have seen this gameplay. So just a warning. You'd be like, this shit look real familiar. Ugly as shit. But I wanted to talk about the LMGs. Like have have we been a, like, uh, what, what's that word? I was gonna say abusing, but we, we haven't been abusing it. But have we been neglecting the LMGs? Like. In Call of Duty, the LMGs were all right. The only game that I remember the LMGs being just ass is Black Ops 1. The LMGs were terrible in Black Ops 1, but in this game, the LMGs were pretty good. And the only time I remember people using them was LMG Target Finder. I didn't really remember people using Red Dot LMG and stuff like that. LMG? Target finder. Target and if you did see them using a red dot LMG, it was a low level LMG because they didn't get the target finder. So, Modern Warfare 2, right? We had a couple of good LMGs. We had the AUG, we had the MG4, and we had the RPD. And I don't remember them being heavily used. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, the L86 was a tough one. The MG36, I don't really remember using that one. And the M60 was tough. But we didn't really use them shits. I don't remember us using LMGs in Call of Duty until, uh, you know, LSAT, Target Finder, or whatever in Black Ops 2. And another thing I wanted us to talk about was attention. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones yet, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. I love Game of Thrones. I don't know if y'all know, but uh, the last uh, Game of Thrones thing I posted, it was like all these copyright stuff that I had to get through. They didn't strike me, but they it was just a lot of stupid shit. So I'm going to just talk about it here, like, and we could talk about it in the chat. I think Arya is going to die and get... I got two scenarios of Arya dying. I think she's going to either be about to kill Cersei and then the mountain kills her and then Sandor Clegane, the hound, redeem, like, uh, you know, steps in and kills the mountain or something like that. Or I think um, she's going to be saving Bran. She's going to be saving Brandon Stark from like a White Walker or something. And I think a White Walker is going to kill her. And I think Jamie Lannister is going to kill the White Walker. Protecting Brandon Stark. Because you know he tried to kill Brandon Stark in season one. So I think that scenario will be more believable or mo more likely to put in the story these are just things i'm coming up with in my head and i think in both scenarios that the red woman is going to bring back Arya stark like she's gonna bring back Arya stark because the red woman wants to die but she can't die if y'all watch game of thrones y'all would know she's about a thousand years old or something she's old as fuck so I think the red woman is going to bring her back and give up her life. She never gave up her life to bring anyone back. But this time, I think she's going to do it. I'm out. Jive Turkey. Jive Turkey. Jive Turkey. Jive Turkey.